films, they, the government put out films about being polite. They like just, just had to be polite. They should. Manners. And, and, and they were government films that went out, and they're poorly acted by, by these people that you kind of recognize. I think I saw some guy from The Twilight Zone, another guy from Mannix. <laughs> but, but they're, you know, they're poorly acted, but they, uh, and they're funny as fuck. Because it's so naive and innocent and... I'll tell you, Mr. Till, you will cross the street and don't whistle at that white yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, there, there was one where uh, this young couple was holding, uh, I think it was called the dinner party. They were holding a dinner party for the first time. Oh, and was the girl never nervous? <laughs> oh, boy. So they have the, the places set at the big table and all their friends come in. And they seem to be late teens or something but you can't tell them that the, the teens look like they're 50 you know they, no yeah. one looked young back then unless they were literally kids yes and then they went from kids to this old lady walking they around started, the house. Yeah. or they started coal mining at 10 yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get you cleaned up johnny there you go it's coal dust around his yeah. face <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, she was really nervous about the dinner party. And I'm watching this thing, and they didn't know, like, the all the manners for eating at a, a formal setting, where the forks go, and how you should use your napkin, when you should take a drink of your beverage, should you pass the fork between your hands like this, or, or just put it in. Yeah, this is it. So, oh, oh this was a date night with the, the family, I think. It's different than the one I was cars. watching. But uh, they were so, it was, uh, it was nerve-wracking. Like, I'm watching it, and, and they're like, uh-oh, uh, Judy just saw something that Bob was doing, and it made her uncomfortable. It's like, this party sucks. Everyone's just looking around, scared yeah. shitless. They're going to use the wrong fork. And that was the whole thing, and it wasn't even, exa I'm not even exaggerating. The whole thing was everyone going, ah, ah. I don't know when to take a drink. Dude, I'm 37 years old, and whenever I did a nice place, I'm like, I'm grabbing whatever fork it is, and it's oh. a gamble. I have no fucking yeah. idea. The guy started eating <laughs> before the hostess times. picked up her fucking silverware, so that was a faux pas. Oh, yeah. One guy was eating his soup uh, by taking the spoon this way. You're supposed to go like this. What a dumb way to eat soup. There's no reason you should have to eat soup like, yeah, here's the piece of shit. So if they are served in pieces that are too big for a proper bite. Look at him. What do you think? Is he wrong or is he right? <laughs> Look at Having these. Having confidence in oh your manners God. is important to your feeling at ease socially. But the person with confidence isn't necessarily the person who is correct. Up until this minute, Betty has been confident that a person should butter his vegetables with his knife. But now that Betty sees Floyd buttering his with his fork, she isn't certain. <laughs> she wishes she did know definitely. That's what's upsetting her? It seems safer to follow Floyd's example. If he is correct, then she will be too. Betty is trash. She just Bob put the fork in Bob's eye. <laughs> one minute he is uneasy, the next overconfident. Now he is forgetting even his company manners and is acting as he usually does in telling one of his favorite stories. He's About the time they beat up the Negro. Their attention when he's looking at them, but at the same time, they manage to continue About going down to the urban area and throwing Molotov cocktails at the liquor store. Bob isn't letting the story interfere with his eating either. Oh. So let's try counting the number of obvious blunders. Obvious blunders? The of his These are the most well-dressed, polite people. His elbows his aren't even on the table. But they're worse. <laughs> they're better than anyone I've ever eaten story. with. Exactly. It's about a trip up in the mountains, and then... Uh oh. Uh, oh look, this look. Isn't the kind Someone of spilled. The that she literally mind, was jolted. But it is quicker. And the dad better. comes in and just beats the At living fuck out of him. Any more mistakes. <laughs> Betty too has discovered that she had forgotten a couple of items of behavior. Damn! Look, she's she bummed. She's thinking that perhaps she's she and freaking Bob out. need to be embarrassed a bit. What a to shitty make party! She goes up to a room and cuts her upper thigh. It makes her feel better, and no one can see her pain pleasure center. Looks as if he has decided to make a lot of changes. Bob can't wait to get to the Nam and kill some gooks. Sally's <laughs> Sally's talked with food in her mouth. It's time for her to get a whack across the face until she spits blood and teeth on the floor. Here, here comes Dad to teach her a what's have you. <laughs> you spilt the milk. <laughs> now uh, it's time to go to the TV and watch Ed Sullivan make fun of minorities. <laughs> 
It's uh, yeah, I was watching that one last night, and the whole time from the beginning of that dinner party to the end was that stressful. They're all like freaking out about what they're doing wrong, and in the meantime, I'm watching, going, "This would be an amazing thing of politeness and manners to I, watch." Because I'm, you know, eh, reach and fucking. You ever have dinner with Gino Bisconti? Holy fuck! I just yeah, like I. I would always eat like with my elbows on the tables, and my yeah, mom yeah. would go fucking ape shit on me. Uh -huh. My dad used to fucking eat, push the plate away, right at the table, light a Tarryton, and then right in the plate, <laughs> right in the fucking plate. Oh my god! Can you see the faux pas Joey Cumia just made? No, not the one where he threw the spaghetti against the wall and belted row. <laughs> Do you he see put his Tarryton out? Do you see how the man is offering to wash the plates? Yeah, that's a no-no. That Anthony's, is a lady job. <laughs> Anthony's faux pas is crying at the dinner table. <laughs> for, for that, he will be struck three times. Yes, where he will cry more. First, threaten him with the belt. <laughs> And tell him you'll give him something to cry about. Nothing will dry a child's eyes quicker than abuse. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, that. <laughs> I'm watching some of those, and they, they uh, like they, buttering the roll. She's the like, roll. She's like, she used her fork like a classless savage. Oh, look she... at this pig! <laughs> <laughs> I bet her pussy smells terrible. <laughs> Who butters a roll with a fork? A fork. <laughs> she didn't know how to butter a vegetable. She's there. And then the bread, I guess, you're not even supposed to cut the bread or anything. You're supposed to tear a piece off, and each piece you separately butter and eat it. Who's got time for this? In very small pieces so you're never talking with your mouth full. They're all eating these little bites where it's like, hi. Is this good enough? <laughs> yeah. Too big a bite. They actually bitch about one guy. He made a too big a bite or something. But I couldn't get enough. I'm laughing my ass off well, watching There's radiation these. floating around outside. <laughs> <laughs> They're surrounded in poison paint. If the atomic blast shakes the table enough <laughs> and your vegetables go on the, on the table, don't pick them up and eat them. <laughs> if, that, if, the, if the atomic blast makes you spill your drink all over the yes. table, oh. do not drink it back up or clean it up. Just go get a new glass of milk, unpasteurized. <laughs> Betty has noticed Johnny's hair is falling out into his salad. <laughs> <laughs> B what's that? Betty's starting to lose toes in one nipple. <laughs> <laughs> no crying at the table, Betty, or it'll be three punches to the neck. <laughs> Bill's teeth just fell out. <laughs> is it because the food's so scrumptious? It is not. <laughs> While he tried to break the bread apart, his fingernails fell onto his plate. <laughs> Radiation. But oh. they'll grow back. Or as we call it in the Bible, leprosy. We <laughs> believe it's the same thing. It's so fucked up. I love it. God ruins a dinner party and manners. And and, and then I'm watching. I'm watching another one, and uh, I didn't even know what the subject was about. But the the narrator's going, "A oh, nice neighborhood, nice houses, good people. This is where you live." And it's like one of those, dun, 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 and you're showing that. And then this old guy comes out. And he's got a for sale sign, and he puts it on his front lawn, and then goes back in the house. And some of the neighbors are kind of looking around, and they're smiling. Well, let me tell you, a car pulls up. <laughs> no oh. shit. And, oh, so you uh, mean it's exactly like now? <laughs> you mean nothing's changed since the 50s? <laughs> Dude, I was fucking laughing. The car pulls up, and I'm like, oh, shit. The door opens. Here he comes. Mr. Negro. <laughs> It's a black dude, his black wife, and a little black kid. And they, they walk into the house with the old guy with the for sale sign there. Well, there's two women watching what's going on. The look of oh utter horror on their face is fucking is priceless. everyone else just nailing down for sale signs? Uh, yeah, yeah. You just start hearing clang, 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 clang. They, uh, so the women go, well... That's not going to happen here. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. And they go in and they just show this montage of all the houses and you hear phones ringing. Like they're all calling each other, dropping <laughs> end bombs. <laughs> I have to see it, isn't it? And then they had to, uh, 
They had to go have a meeting. Like she met with a, a, one of the women met with a priest and was talking about like it was a big fucking That's what issue. I love is that people would go to priests and everything. And oh, it's like, yeah. so you believe God created everybody, but yeah. these people have no value. The priest was like, well, they're people just like uh-huh. us. And, and then she's like, well, why don't they want to live with their own kind? The worst <laughs> The worst line in the whole thing was uh, the uh, b- the banker and the realtor in the town are talking to each other. The realtor's like, this is going to f- ruin us. Everyone's going to leave. You're going to get all Negroes coming in, and you're never going to sell another house again. And the property value is going to go down. And the banker's like, I got to abide by the rules. He goes, I'll go to the big guy and, and talk to him and stuff. And, and the realtor says, well, the whole neighborhood's going crazy. They're calling me up uh, all angry. And he goes, who's calling you? What did they say? How many calls did you get? And he goes, well, Mrs. Johnson called. And he goes, what did she say? He goes, I'd rather not say. <laughs> and, and I'm just like, oh, my God, say it. Say it, please. You know exactly what Mrs. Johnson Mrs. Said. Johnson. So Mrs. Johnson said something like, uh, he goes, well, she said, she doesn't like the way they smell. <laughs> I'm fucking dying. I'm watching this show just going like, Holy fuck! All he's saying is one drop of their sweat could clear a room. Yes! So there's no way we can have a bunch in the neighborhood. It was so fucked up. It's just worse they than all, the pump. Is it? Yeah, here it is. Oh here he goes. That's the old guy selling the house. This oh. is like the most respectable black dude I've ever seen in my life, too. Look at him. Look, look at the women. The music. It's like a horror movie. What? It is. <laughs> the 50s, this is a horror. What is that? <laughs> Take another look. Take another look. They're breeding. Uh, old family. Oh, shit. Look at the women. It's so good. Oh, my God. Martha, report that car happened. stolen. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get Dick on the phone right away. Dick. Dick. You can't even take the rake in. Nice <laughs> just, I'm nice dropping the rake. I'm fucking... Where things are taken care of. Well. She sees the black guy. I know what I'm going to do. do. Get some Dick. Here? Yeah, I'm calling Dick. All the regular reasons. <laughs> yeah, and now it's just dialing everybody. You're <laughs> coon. Spook. One moment, please. One moment, please. One moment, please. Spook cocoon, Pete. KL-531. Uh, yeah. Number, please. Do you need the N for the downtown? <laughs> Just call <laughs> NI5-5252. That's NI5. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Dude, I was roaring. Looks like we're about to plant a strange fruit tree. <laughs> <laughs> they were very upset, the town, but then a few of the people started thinking, like, maybe they were the problem. The, <laughs> the film was put out by every uh, civil rights organization of the time. So the NAACP was involved, Brene Brett, the uh, Jewish organization. And they were okay with the whole horror music. Oh, yeah. They, they made this movie because it kind of ends where the neighborhood seems to realize, like, times are changing and, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is the school. Are they cut off from part of themselves? See, they're not they're enjoying. To touch the variety, the richness, the texture of reality that is always there for us. It's so weird. These children and this place. It was always the kids that they look at to go, the future looks great because they're holding hands. These are the people that are my age now. And they're still pieces of shit. That's what I mean. Like <laughs> It doesn't change. Is, that's all that should have happened. Yeah. Like Martin Luther King should have had his fucking dream come true. Yeah. And we're all still just a bunch of dicks. People are getting thrown off SNL. Nobody likes each other. Everyone hates each Internet's other. It's just made everyone more racist. Back then, all you needed was one video, and they're like, maybe we will let him move into the neighborhood. <laughs> and then yeah, that's all it took in these films. That's all it took. But he's kind of trying to make that the example. The riots didn't help. The, no, <laughs> he's trying to make that example that the kids are are riding bikes together and walking yeah, hand in hand. Shit. And it's like, look, asshole, adults. If a black guy wants to move in your neighborhood with his family, you know, you gotta you're you're missing part of what you could be getting out of that. And your kids, look, your kids are aren't prejudiced, and they walk hand in hand. And it's like. That's how old I was. <laughs> so it's like, well, maybe not. Maybe I was like 60, 
you know, 1965. I think that's like 1960. But still, those are the adults that are now being called the horrible racists. Right. And, and, and they was, so it just proves it never changes. Even now, today, you got a lot of young people uh, uh, talking about safe spaces and civil rights and Black Lives Matter and everything. The second they get older, it, shit goes away. It does well and turn into fucking pieces of shit. It's funny that you bring it up because I was thinking of the uh, like Dale Carnegie's book in the '30s of how to uh, win friends and influence people yep. is basically a guide on how to treat another human being. Yeah, yeah. And one of the main points is you know don't condemn or complain, and it is all we do now. It yeah. is all we do. It's all we join it's in. It's all we do. Just, and and it's really interesting how we've gone completely against that. And we all are just now living in this where it's like we can get along with each other only based on the bias of someone else. Yeah, yeah. We get we 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 get together with other people to shit on someone exactly. or something. That's the only commonality we have anymore. We used to like when I'm watching these, the commonality was America, hmm? and they talk about immigrants and different religions and races. And there was another one I watched, which was it was. Uh, with Frank Sinatra. Oh, I gotta see this. It's a short thing, and it was young fucking Frank Sinatra. Okay. And the whole plot is hilarious. Frank Sinatra, he sings a little ditty in the studio. He goes out the back alley, and these little kids are trying to beat the shit out of this other kid. Okay. And they're like, ah, we don't like his religion. You can tell Jew. And then he beats. Fucking Jew. And then he goes inside and beats Ava Gardner with a pepper mill. Yeah, yeah. He fucking. <laughs> a pepper mill. And it's so funny because because he sings them a song about America. Seriously? And they're all like, ah, shucks, you're right. Come on, you little kike. Let's go fucking yeah. grab something. To this Dago knows exactly <laughs> what. <what's> yeah, yeah. <laughs> grab the Mick, the Dago, and the kike, and we'll... Here it is. Yeah. Somebody in for a licking? You bet. Look at a Somebody want a licking? Look at yeah, a smear. Yeah, but ten against one. That's not very fair. Ah, come on. One Jew. Ah, what's it all about? None of your business. <laughs> scared to tell me? No, I'm not as scared. I'll fight you even. <laughs> not if I can help it. I just want Young to know Kevin why the gang was. We don't like him. We don't want him in our neighborhood or going to our school. I've been living here as long as you. What's he got, smallpox or something? We don't like his religion. His religion? His religion. Look, mister, he's a dirty... Ah, uh, hold on. They never actually what say it. He's a dirty... You must be a bunch of those nasty it, werewolves I've been reading about. Mr. Oh, yeah, you screwy! <laughs> not me, I'm an American. <laughs> well, why <laughs> kids back are? then. Oh, the darndest <laughs> things. Don't why don't you go fuck off, Sinatra? Oh, wounded. gee, thanks, mister. Wounded, huh? And how? Hey, I bet he got some of that blood plasma. He was wounded so bad he had to get it three times. Fighting so the Nazis. anybody in your family ever go to the blood bank? Sure, my mother and my father both. Uh-huh. You know what? The whole neighborhood's I bet bleeding. Maybe his pop's blood helped yeah. save your dad's life. How many people are bleeding to death That's in this bad. fucking little skit? <laughs> Everyone's going to the blood well, bank. We sent his family your to blood bank. To we don't like their curls. His father does. That's awful. Do you think maybe if your father knew about it in time, he would rather have died than to take blood from a man of another religion? Yeah. Would you have wanted him to die? Would your mom want him to die? No. <laughs> Look, fellas, religion makes no difference. Except maybe to a Nazi or somebody as stupid. Or Donald people Trump. People all over the world <laughs> worship God in many different ways. God created everybody. Cuckoo. He didn't create one people better than another. <laughs> Your blood's the same as mine. Mine's the I same as I can't even his. imagine that's the same Frank Sinatra you know that what this wonderful country is made of? at the end of his life, it's the made fat up guy. Of I did it my way. You know what is interesting, though? He did have that opinion on religion. He was one of the few people oh, yeah, yeah. in a Playboy interview where he was very progressive in the sense Yeah, of I don't faith. think Frank would have like done something like this. As, yeah, people really looked at him like this devout Catholic, and yeah. he really wasn't. He was like, no, nah, I think it could be anything. I think, you know, but you should really just not be a piece of shit, which yeah. is ironic. Cause don't be a piece of shit. He was kind of a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was a he was a womanizer and a racist. Yeah, he, he was more a racist. I think the religion thing was one thing, but race. Even though you know he, he let fucking a product Sammy of in. his time though. You know, yeah, I mean, you can't yeah. really say it's a racist so much as just yeah. a product of his time. How do you not love uh, New York, New York when the Yankees win? Exactly. <laughs> you hear that fucking plane? I did it my I way. I give him a pass on everything. And That's only. right. And then he fucking uh, helped uh, have Kennedy killed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> For the mafia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Sammy can swim cool. in the pool as long as the water don't turn into chocolate milk. I'm hey, going to be right. over here, huh? Throw a little more chlorine in there. Maybe it'll lighten them up. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there was that one. And then I watched uh, another one where there, there were kids in school and they, they did this uh, thing where they wouldn't show who the other kid was that they were talking about. You see him from the back, no skin at all. You just see clothes kind of walking. And it's like uh, you're just supposed to assume uh, a race or a religion. It could be anything, they said. Like maybe it's a religion or a different race of the. So, uh, but but here's how the kids handled it, and they're really bad to this guy. Um, what was his name? Bob Johnson or something like that. It sounded like a black name. Yeah. And and it was like you're not fooling me. There, it's a black dude. It's Leroy, <laughs> Leroy. It was Leroy White. Yeah, yeah. It was really, <laughs> and they're just like, ah, oh, they're so violent. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, that's a Jew right there. He must be talking about the Jews. <laughs> It's like so violent. He just I heard he just attacked somebody and he's not like us. Why is he here in art school? Uh, and then it turns out that he saved a couple of the kids uh, when they got in a car crash and the car burst into flames. And uh, the guy got pulled them out and he was burned. So he's in the hospital and all the kids went to the hospital and they're sitting there talking about and actually thinking to themselves about how horrible they are. <laughs> it always turns out good. Sure. Like it always turns out like it's going to be OK. But it starts with normal America is what's the funny. Yeah. Part. Yeah. It yeah. starts out what it really is. <laughs> and it ends in a fantasy world <laughs> that will never ever really going to see. Hey, why are you 10 beating up this Jew? <laughs> you just said it, mister. <laughs> ah, you're screwy. <laughs> you gone, you shit. gone cuckoo, Mister. Uh, you know why we're hurting him? Cause he deserves it. He killed our savior. <laughs> <laughs> My father wouldn't have died in the big war if it wasn't for the Jews. Ah, <laughs> oh, all right. He was trying to save them all from getting cooked. <laughs> <laughs> in one, uh, in one thing, this girl's reading. Um, Reading the diary of Anne Frank at the dinner table, and the father's like, "What have you? What have you got there?" What the fuck? The diary of Anne Frank, Dad. Uh, yeah, see, so he goes, "I know this story." She goes, "Can you believe what they did to her? The Nazis this?" And he goes, "Yeah, that was uh, what it was in the war, but it's not like that anymore. You should just move on." <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just thinking of the flashbacks that are going on in his head. Oh, yeah. His war flashback no one ever wants to talk Watching about. Watching Nazis' heads come apart. <laughs> oh, yeah, his buddy's head come apart on Omaha Beach. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, so I was just all night, all night I'm watching just going, MAGA, fucking MAGA, that's awesome. Look, they're going shopping they're at the mall shop. I don't know if MAGA's denying the Anne Frank importance. <laughs> What, the Diary of Anne Frank? Put that piece of shit down. MAGA. <laughs> Get my new is, book. Is a child then had the writing skills of one of the most intellectual human beings yeah. now? That's how them. dumb we've all gotten. It's fucking... Uh, there, there, there was one where uh, one family was messy and disorganized, and then they went to the example of another family that was just straight up fucking awesome. And the awesome family... All they did was work. <laughs> like, like, it was, I swear it was nothing else. From the moment they woke up, it's like, Sally is cleaning her room. She's making sure her clothes are hung up before school. And uh, left her plenty of time for a breakfast with the family. And they're all sitting down having breakfast. And then Susie makes the sandwiches for the men. Like the the brother and the father yeah. before they leave for yeah, school and work. From the mom, that, yeah. And he goes, It's good practice for her to learn how to make food for the men. It's like, oh, I'm just jacking off to these old fucking Oh! Oh, Mega! Mega! <laughs> fucking awesome. And then they're constantly doing shit. And then they get home. It's like, let's see what happens after school. So Sally and the brother are in their respective rooms doing homework. It's like, homework? This early in the day? Sure, you've got to get it done first. So they do the homework. After homework and dinner and the dishes are done and everything. I mean, it's all work. They sit down, the brother and sister, in one of the rooms listening to the radio. So they're there like, for like 10 minutes. And then the brother goes, uh, ready to fucking shove off to bed. Holy he did shit. nothing. His whole life was working for the house and the family. The only faux pas is Ma interrupted the radio show with one of her opinions. Yes, an opinion. We all know how useless those are. <laughs> now Dad's making sandwiches. Knuckle sandwiches. <laughs> no. <laughs>
and dragging them right across mom's stupid mouth. <laughs> That's the only sandwich a man should make, the knuckle sandwich. A <laughs> knuckle sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> they did nothing, and then they went to bed, and it starts all over the next day, where it's constant working and yeah, just making sure you're and, doing yeah. shit. I'm like, ah, give me the messy guy house. That at least takes what a they, fun. <laughs> that's probably what they were doing, though, to forget about the war. Like, that was their medicine. Oh, yeah. They're like, every day is terrible. This is all we have is the politeness. Se the second I stop doing something, <laughs> oh. I just scream. I'm gonna I have horrible, <laughs> th horrible <laughs> thoughts of what my life is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> I have no one to talk oh, to. Oh, God. I told my mom I was having my period. She said, God hates me. We were the first ones into Treblinka. <laughs> <laughs> clean, let me clean uh, that for you. Type. That's fine. I got it. I got it. I'll... I'm going to smoke cigarette after cigarette for something to concentrate <laughs> on because I remember what I Don't did. say concentrate. <laughs> <laughs> I took off the heads of children. <laughs> It's, uh, it's so, dude, hours. I just sat for hours watching these things, and uh, they're just amazing. Yeah, they're all, they're all on Amazon, if anybody's as mental patient as me and wants to sit there for hours and watch I actually these. Do. I find them fascinating. I actually think we should uh, do a sketch show here, and then we can just oh, make those. Yeah, we'll just make them. I think it'd be fun to I think do those would, could be yeah. fucking hilarious. <laughs> there, there's such a great uh, statement on what America was and what it is now. Like, what, 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 there was always that common thread. No matter the racists, the liberals, the black dude, the fucking... It was still America. It wasn't, oh, I'm this or I'm that. Right. It's like, well, we're all Americans. What are you doing? We, I came, my father came from Italy and this and... So they all had this idea that they're from different places and we can enjoy the different cultures that everybody brought here. But more importantly than that, is the fact that you're American. Because it is literally the only thing that we have as a country that that gives us commonality and something we have in common to make sure it's good and works and defend it and everything. It's just a word. You're an American. And, and it really is a people now. I mean, yeah. that's the reality. Is like, my heritage is American. It's American, I, I yeah. I am an American. That's yeah. what I am. A lot of people are that, and now we want to take that away and say, and well... divvy it all up and, yeah, and, and make it... No one that. really respects it as a country anymore. You want to be a Somali-American living in your own enclave, not being involved with anything that is traditionally Which is American. racist to... On its own to want to just yeah, live course. amongst your own kind, but that's fine for everybody else. Yeah, yeah. White guy, if he's like, I'd like my neighborhood to be white, they're like, what the fuck? Ah, oh, you're crazy. We need diversity. <laughs> Unless it's all something else. Then it's then good. Then it's good. Then we should change the signs to their language. What about white people for diversity? That's not diversity. That's not diverse. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't get what diversity is. different places. Could you uh, make my beer diverse? One empty and one full. One filled with diverse. Different, yet the same. <laughs> One filled with perversity. Yeah. When I get drunk, I go fucking. <laughs> uh, There's Dad pulling up to a whore <laughs> on his way home from work. She's a Negro gal. On the oh, on the well, look out. But he secretly likes it. He says the lips feel better on his dick. <laughs> now Dad drives home hoping he didn't catch venereal disease. <laughs> but he probably did. <laughs> it was... Uh, there was another one on just meeting people. The whole fucking thing, it, it was quick. It was like maybe 20 minutes, relatively quick. But it was just called, How Do You Do? Really? <laughs> the show's called, How Do You Do? And, and it's just people meeting. The, the proper protocol when you meet someone. Like a, a, a guy comes in, and there's a, a boy in the house, and, and they're friends. And how the guy introduces the kid to the mother, the father first, the older person, the opposite sex first. Like, it's this involved thing that no one ever fucking thinks about anymore. But it was so important that they deemed it worthy of a film back Holy then. Shit. People made movies saying how to shake fucking hands. Right. <laughs> gone. We're just gone. Well, yeah, because if it came out now, it would be like, when you meet someone, be very awkward about it. Try not to make eye contact. Look down at the floor and get out of the conversation as quickly as possible. Just get off your iPhone. And if you share an opinion, you may get screamed at. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they couldn't even ima imagine. They're, they're freaking out over, do you use your knife 
to butter your vegetables or your yeah. fork. And meanwhile, every dinner is this now. Yeah. Like they would lose their minds yeah, over your something fucking like fifteen year old daughter's just sitting there fucking going, Ma, which dick are you gonna get tonight? Yeah. Uh, all pissed off and fucking Your son's morbidly obese because he doesn't do anything. The kids are <laughs> they were tripping over each other trying to clear the plates for the parents. Yeah. Just tripping over each other. There's one empty place they still set for the kid who was shot at lunch. <laughs> Some for your homies. <laughs> Pour out some fucking Costco <laughs> for your homies. Pour out some milk for the homies. Pour out some moxie. <laughs> <laughs> You've got moxie. I love that. You're spry. Yeah, I, I couldn't get enough of it. I love that shit. I love, yeah. It's so fucking funny to watch. It just it shows you can learn so much from then and now where it's yeah. like you can stop the racism and keep the politeness. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> but politeness just out the window. It was so funny because it's so quaint and, and innocent and naive. Uh, and now you just look. They showed the kids in school. They're all single file suits and ties. Damn. And they're in school. And then I'm just thinking of those films where it's like, motherfucker, and they're just beating the shit out of the teacher. Yeah. Could you imagine one of those guys? The only now, time... should Johnny use a left hook or an uppercut on his teacher? <laughs> He looks puzzled. <laughs> <laughs> the only way a young a young man would tie a knot now is if he needed to jack off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not even fucking. It's fucking a little autoerotic asphyxiation. Yeah, exactly. oh, oh, uh, let I me guess. show you how to tie that knot. Oh, uh, oh, oh. I'll teach you how to make Windsor. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's good, for, good, good, good to jerk with. Also, <laughs> I hope I come before I die. Oh, 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 oh. 